be looking at basic rules of transformation. So these are global rules that are relevant to all uh, graphs. So not only related to trig, but also quadratic and um, equations that you'll come across in year 12 mathematics. So we actually have eight rules. So I'll go through each one of them slowly, uh, but su being supported by some examples. So we'll go through them one by one. So here is the first rule. So here we have here y equals fx. So rule one describes what would happen if there was a negative within the function here. So what would happen then would be that it would rotate about this y-axis. Okay, so if you imagine it rotating, it would look something like this. So that is for y equals f of negative x. Now let's see what rule two is all about. So rule two is when the negative is outside the f of x. So when the negative is outside, what happens is that this f of or x would rotate about the x-axis. So it would look something like this. Okay. Rule three is negative f of negative x. So here it says that it would be rotated. So f of x would be rotated about the origin. So it would look something like this. You could also think of it as, well, firstly consider um, f of negative x. So remember, f of negative x would be rotated about the y-axis, and then the negative would be rotated about the x-axis, which would give you the same graph. So you could break it down into small steps if, it's, if this first step is a little bit confusing. Okay, rule four, we have f of x. This one we want to transform is y equals f of x plus a. So this means that this f of x graph moves up by a, as shown here, okay? The y value moves up by a, okay? Rule five, this is when y equals f of bracket x minus a. So this would mean that this f of x graph would move right by a, as shown in this next picture. See, original, and this is the new one that's shifted right by a. Next rule is rule six. So what would happen if f of x becomes y equals f of x plus a? So opposite to what we saw in rule five, this one would shift to the left by negative a, as shown here in the yellow. Okay, rule seven. So what would happen if f of x becomes y equals f of 2x? So what would happen is it would be squeezed. So you'll see here, so it becomes taller. Do you see? And finally, we have rule eight. So what would happen if you multiplied the fx by two? What would happen is the range of the f of x would be doubled. So the y value, it would start lower because if this was, for example, um, one, this would be negative one, this would be negative two, and the range would be doubled. So they are uh, the eight rules that you need to keep in mind for basic transformations of equations.